द यूनिवर्स द वास्ट स्पेस सराउंडिंग द अर्थ व्हिच इंक्लूड्स गैलेक्सीज स्टार्स प्लैनेट्स सैटेलाइट्स एटसेट्रा इज नोन एज यूनिवर्स बिगिनिंग ऑफ द यूनिवर्स there are various theories explaining the origin of the universe two prominent theories are the big bang theory and the steady state theory big bang theory the big bang theory states that the cosmic explosion took place about 15 billion years ago according to big bang cosmologists the universe began its existence as an extremely hot and dense concentrated matter called ilum the temperature of ilum was extremely high ranging up to trillions of degrees around 15 billion years ago ilum exploded scattering particles and then the temperature dropped down to millions of degrees when the temperature had fallen to around 10 million degrees protons or hydrogen nuclei began to stick together in groups of 4 to form helium calculations showed that at least 20 to 30% of hydrogen nuclei of the universe were transformed into helium in the early stages of big bang with further passage of time the expanding materials cooled and condensed into galaxies and then into stars the steady state theory thomas gold suggested that fresh hydrogen is steadily created in the universe out of nothing according to this theory the freshly created hydrogen would provide the ingredients for the formation of new stars to replace the old ones and it would fill up the space left by receding galaxies thus the creation of matter out of nothing could restore the universe to a state of perpetual balance without beginning and without end What is a galaxy? A galaxy is a collection of billions of stars along with dust and hydrogen gas. Empty space separates galaxies from each other. There are 10 to the power 11 galaxies and it is believed that there are 10 to the power 11 stars in each galaxy. Thus, there are approximately 10 to the power 22 stars in the universe. Galaxies are classified into two categories namely normal galaxies and radio galaxies click on the types of galaxies for more information normal galaxies a normal galaxy is a cluster of a very large number of stars which emit radiations normal galaxies are further classified as spiral galaxies elliptical galaxies and irregular galaxies a spiral galaxy has a spiral shape the elliptical galaxy has an egg like appearance the irregular galaxy does not have any definite shape The two important galaxies namely Milky Way and Andromeda are spiral galaxies. Our solar system is a part of the Milky Way galaxy. Radio galaxies A radio galaxy emits radiations that lie in the radio frequency range of the electromagnetic spectrum. Radio galaxies are of two types: ordinary radio galaxies, quasars. Ordinary radio galaxies have two radio sources, S1 
and S2 that lie on either side of the central optical galaxy G, much like the two years on either side of the face of a person. Cygnus A is a good example of a radio galaxy. Quasars are radio galaxies and act as powerful radio sources. They resemble stars and are known as quasi-stellar radio sources or quasars. Most of the stars in the galaxies are arranged in definite patterns called constellations.